So I've got my garden sprayer with diesel fuel going into the pump here. And as I hold that, I can see it pushing air and fuel out of the return that I have loose there. As long as I keep seeing air come out. Uh-uh, haven't touched it. Okay. All right, so that's pushing quite a bit of fuel now. Close this valve. Tighten this back up. start here in a second as soon as I get Kelly. I don't have any help out here yet this morning. Okay. This uh, battery cable here, uh, the main power is negative or positive ground on here. It's just a tiny little cable and it's hot when we try to turn it over. And then it goes to these great big, like here's a four out that goes to the starter. But if it's a four out coming off there and it's got this tiny little, I don't even know what this is. Probably says on it. But, and there's only one battery hooked up right now, but that's just too small. So we're gonna step up to something a little bit bigger here. See what we got. This is with the battery charger. I guess if I turn the charger off, but let's get some load on it here. Two, 200 cranking amps. The voltage is dropping to 10. Oh shit. It's looking a little bit over there. <laughs> Here, we have to take that off of that one. Take the charger off? Yeah. Test it again without the charger just to see what it does, but that's a terrible cable connection. But it looks like it's worked for 30 years. Well, so put it under some load. There's this. Three hundred cranking amps, and we're down to. Seven, nine volts. We gotta find some new batteries. This is 2004. Um, D is the month, right? Yep. Something like uh, March, April. Um, is this got a fan on it? No. Is it really hot? <laughs> Do we want to try to test this one too or no? Oh, you, oh, you, 
Well, I did it with the charger as well, which is kind of a fake reading. <laughs> It's not even resting at 12 volts. <laughs> There's no load on it whatsoever. <laughs> 200 amps, but it drops down to six, seven, I mean, that's eight, that's, so that'd be nine, between nine and 10. added another battery to it. This one says 2016, so it's 10 years older than that one ago. <laughs> Forgot what year it was now. 2014, so yeah. Or 04. I think it'd be 14. There's just a 4 on the end of that, right? 14. Okay. Um, so anyways, we added this new battery, and we hooked it directly to the starter, and hooked it to the, to the ground, to the engine. Uh, we'll try to start it here. What happened to the starting plug? Yeah. Okay, and then I'll grab the, uh, it's either going to start or it's either not going to start. <laughs> is how they're supposed to spin over. <laughs> to take off the main fuel line and we're going to stick it into our five gallon bucket so that we can actually get fuel. This had some nasty fuel in it that we were using. Um, we're going to put that hose into here. I'm going to go up front, take this blow gun with a rag around it, stick it in the fuel tank and pressurize that tank with air and that should be enough to push fuel up the tube through the hose into here. That should also pressurize our fuel system by doing that, but I want to have, we don't have any fuel right now for our can. So we're going to do that. Buddy's going to help us out here. that's over there and we're going to pass it under the bus. Just a few drips. There. Here we go. Alright. They're only about half a gallon. Ooh. 
That plan went really well for quite a while, and then it didn't. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm glad there was nothing sparking over here because that would have ignited. All right. Yeah. Just loosen it. You don't have to take it all the way off. Oh, okay. Just loosen it. Just loosen it. Yeah. Ready to, I'm going to, could you? Oh, Got it. What's anything? Uh, not yet. I would stand to the side more, not right in front of it. I'm going to keep the camera this way this time. Nothing yet? Not yet. Not yet. We're getting a few air bubbles. Yeah, that air, we need an air chuck done. Okay. Well, this is an odd wall. You have it all the way off. You, have a, you don't have a way of turning it on and off, do you? Oh, you do, right? Or no? Yeah. It's going to spray all over me, though. Is that pushing it through already? Yeah, oh, bad. okay. You see this right here? Okay, oh, it's still pretty airy though. Go ahead and go to town now, but you gotta keep an eye before it runs out of fuel, right? And then we defeat our purpose, right? Here, they are moving through there. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. Okay. Get them started. It's angry. It's angry. <laughs> so 
hooking up an auxiliary pump in line there from the fuel tank line and then that goes to the intake that's going into the primary filter and the primary filter then is sucked through to the fuel pump and then pressurized fuel goes from the fuel pump to that top filter canister which is the secondary filter. I didn't, but the oil is down about half a gallon from where we had it, so it is moving oil through. So if we manually bar it over a little bit while that's going, it'll push fuel through the fuel pump. Let's go ahead and do that. Where's that? Is it pushing anything out? Fuel or air or nothing? Let's just we'll put the valve back in it. Since we're out of fuel for that tank anyways, let's just take that all the way off and put the valve back in it. And then we can see it push mm -hmm. fuel. Can I disconnect this for now? Well, you think it's actually, yeah, see we're up against the fuel pump. Also disconnect this and uh, use that to fill your thing. Gravity should push fuel from here to here. That's kind of a bad test. You know what? Uh, that should. Uh, external fuel pump that we added we're going to 
use to pump fuel into our five gallon fuel can so we've got some fuel to work with. fuel pump off. Make sure the forks are in good shape still too. There's a drive fork gear on it and just make sure that that's okay. A little curvy wrench works great for these. I'm pushing air bubbles out of there though. Wait, make sure you get Yeah, that's filling that now. We can blow the shit go corner. But we knew there was no fuel up here, so I take this off, not even a drop of fuel came out of there. So we're gonna manually prime it until I get fuel coming out of there and then we'll now. So we'll need to get the air back out of this in a minute. We'll hook that back up. I'll pull that plug back out until fuel comes out of it with your pump, you think? Yeah, I think so. Right now. How much fuel do we have in that can now? Is it at? We got a half, almost a half. We put the fuel system back up. We're putting the line back on, or the cap back on that. This is gonna be open. I'm gonna start spinning the fuel pump. As soon as fuel starts coming out of there, close it. And then I'll spin it until we get fuel out of here. This is exactly how we primed it yesterday, but it was earlier in the day. And it, we must have somehow lost the prime. I don't know why though. People cringe when they see me do this. Can you grab that gasket off there for me? I don't want to mess up that gasket. Pretty airy, but go ahead and hook it back up and then I'll... No, no, give it a little bit more. that in your five gallon bucket. And I'll pump it, I'll try pumping it through. That is nothing. <laughs> you know, starting with that. Oh. Coming out good? Oh, that's just dripping out of the Yeah, pump. yeah. That should be pumping a ton of fuel out of there. It's very different pump. Huh? Let me see it again.
We're getting nothing. Nothing's coming out of there right now. We've got another fuel pump around here. Uh, the line We've replaced the line that we thought was the sketchy one. Okay. I don't have that tight. We're definitely seeing some more stuff here. This one isn't tight. This needs to get tightened up. That's not three quarter, is it? That's a 11 sixteenths, maybe. Five So probably what was happening was that fuel line was just sucking air. It wouldn't, it's easier to push air than fuel. I actually had a torque wrench for that. But. Pushing it through that foamy stuff. You should see that go solid color. Can you see this foamy? Should have fuel now. Are you ready? Recording? We're good? that return line up, I noticed the fuel kept coming out and coming out. It's like it's draining it out somehow. Let's take this off and see if fuel comes out of here, but I bet you don't. No fuel. Mm -hmm. Same shit we did. Uh, uh, that's it's just not getting fuel. Yeah. It's...
Okay, let's see what happens. some compression tests because it is smoking really bad but I don't, still don't know what's going on. I just disconnected these two lines and not a single drop of fuel came out of there. So there is definitely a fuel issue here. We have a little bit of oil in the air box there. I can't tell if it's, it feels thinner like fuel more than oil but it doesn't smell like fuel but I can't smell fuel because I took a shower in it earlier. Um, everything smells like fuel to me. So we're, we're going to see what's going on. Uh, we pulled this injector out and ran a compression test on this cylinder and it's kind of low it was like three 325 but when i ran the engine without that injector in there was zero smoke coming out of the engine um so whatever is going on is happening here on this cylinder uh, we just replaced it with another injector when i was hit i would hit that injector i'd spray some fuel in it uh and whack the injector with the um mallet and it wasn't atomizing it was squirting more than anything and I think maybe that is what our issue is so we just replaced it with another uh, HV 55 injector and we're gonna start it up and see what happens we just I just set the, the made sure the clearance uh, 1.460 was still there everything is torqued back down just got to hook up the fuel lines to it obviously we still have a fuel issue when I removed the fuel lines no fuel whatsoever came out um, we're just all the fuel just keeps draining out of the head, and I don't understand why. We just pulled the fuel filter, and this is completely empty. And we were literally just running this, the engine a couple minutes ago. The fuel that's in here is super old. I don't know if you can tell the color of it. It's very dark golden, uh, and it smells, it smells like varnish. Uh, it's, it's a very weird very old diesel fuel smell. But usually old fuel isn't an issue. Uh, this gasket on top of here was pretty crappy. So we replaced the filter with a new one. Um, we took, took it out and then we've got a new gasket here to go on there and maybe that will help. So if it was letting air out of here, although we didn't see it leaking from there, um, but if it was letting air suck back out of there, I don't know, we're just grasping at straws at this point it should be holding its own fuel up in the head, which the head is higher than this point. I think we need a check valve to stop it from pushing it backwards. I don't see a check valve anywhere. And I think it's just because everything is higher here than these lines, the, the, fuel, the fuel gravity pressure of it is just letting it drain back out of the head. And it's... I don't know. Makes no sense to me. It's not leaking anywhere when we pressurize it, though. Ready?
sound good. Um, we just have bars over. Just as easy as normal, or is it hard? It seems to be alright. So we went and got a check valve, and we're going to put that in the fuel line uh, right here. Um, just because that's an easy place to put it, so it can't drain back to the tank anymore through that. And hopefully that'll stop it losing on the other end too. And meanwhile, I think our starter has taken a crap. So we grabbed a starter off the other engine, and the cone doesn't fit, uh, everything's at the wrong angle. So we grabbed one of these off a shelf that we have. It has a tag on it, it says starter okay. We don't know if we believe it or not. It's missing a couple of screws. Hold on that uh, dire drive uh, foot part of the solenoid there. So we're gonna try and put it in place and see what happens here. Better work, go through all this trouble. Okay. All right, we got the new starter on. We filled the fuel filter with fuel, but we don't have fuel pushed up into the head yet. We're going to turn it over for a minute so we can get the fuel to circulate. You ready? Yeah. It's turning over a lot faster than it ever had. Seems like it's a little smoother. I, I suppose this drive though could be a little gummy in there. You know? Yeah, this isn't really safe. Spins over better, but the drive up here is the drive is returning. Possible it might have to be taken apart and moved. We moved. Well, that worked when it was in that. No, no, we this, this. no, we couldn't. That one wouldn't fit. The the solenoid on that one was in a different position, and it hit here. And we tried to take the cone off the clock it, but we couldn't. The one of the bolts wouldn't come out. This was off the shelf. This was on the shelf. It had tagged us oh. that it was good, but it was missing these screws. So we put these screws back in it. Okay. Works. All right. <laughs> Good. So now, is there a spring for that? Something that doesn't, it's not spring. what makes it return. The, the dire drive returns by the flywheel speed catching it, but it should, yeah. Oh, is that what it is? That spring. It's the spring that goes on there that's bad. All right, we'll see if the fuel's staying in it like it's supposed to.
improvements and it's barely smoking now, right? Just barely. Yeah. Not that off. No. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank my late Uncle Roy for getting me interested in these Detroits, especially the 670 ones. Thank you all for watching. Now I'm done monkeying around. <laughs> well, that was a hell of a day. Um, we had a lot of issues going on, and we worked through most of them. Uh, it, it kept losing prime. The fuel would just drain all out of the head. And then after we added that check valve over there um, to the... Uh, the, so the, the fuel in so it can't drain back to the tank and it's the fuel stain up in the head So it's starting uh, on its own now. Uh, it was really hard starting before that because there was no fuel getting up there Everything would drain out even after like a half hour that uh, fuel uh, Filter canister would be completely empty on it uh, It was smoking then when we had it running it was smoking horribly bad super super bad um, We replaced the third injector in it. These are HV 55s we had a spare that we put in there. Um, just so happened to be the one that I pulled out was the one that was causing all the smoke. Um, it is still smoking a little bit, so tomorrow we're gonna run it. We're gonna short out each injector and see if we can figure out which is the one that's causing the little bit of smoke. But it's nowhere near, it's 90% less than what it was. Uh, and it, it has some buildup of some stuff in there from, from us running it with that bad injector in there too. Uh, so it might just take a little bit of time to clear it out a little bit. Uh, but I'm real confident with it. It's starting good. It's idling now. We got the buffer screw set and uh, everything's go progressing forward now. I was getting a little worried when that starter went bad. Uh, that, that scared me actually. Uh, so yeah, we had a starter to fight with. This one, we still got a little issue. It's not returning. It's a dire drive. Um, the solenoid doesn't return it and this actually isn't returning on its own. Um, so we got to, I think it's the spring that's bad here. So we're going to replace that spring uh, and then go change that. But anyways, we're getting there. It's a heck of a day. I got that shower and diesel fuel this morning. Um, it was just a crazy, crazy day. But uh, it's, it is running and uh, we're getting much, much closer.